standard protocol would be like two weeks before the Olympics, each country would head out um, for like a holding camp, whether that's actually in the country itself or, or nearby. With Felix and with the Austrian team, that's something that's not open to us. So we're actually going to arrive in Tokyo five days before his first race, which is his main event. Now, with an eight hour time zone change and five days, that, that just doesn't work. You know, the, the chances are there'll be some kind of effect on him in a negative way. So we, took, we are taking the step to adapt here before, uh, which will be like over a nine or 10 day period and kind of like reduce the time difference every day by 30 minutes or 60 minutes. So when we get to Tokyo, we are already adapted by six hours and we just have two, two hours to go. So then when we get to race day, we're fully adapted and there's no difference anymore. Um, we don't feel like we're coming from a different time zone. If you live the disciplined life in a, of an elite athlete, the chances are you're, you're accustomed to going to bed at a particular time, getting up at a particular time, training at a particular time, and basically looking after your body according to a schedule. Jet lag, flying eight hours across the globe disrupts all of that. Sleep in and of itself is not likely to be the factor that degrades your performance. But if you suspect and if you maintain the suspicion that your sleep is going to be degraded as a result of poorer quality sleep, then it can undermine your confidence in your performance and that can undermine your actual performance on the day. He's confident, which is the main thing in what we're doing. I'm confident that our plan uh, is sound and that it's scientifically driven. And the basis being that when we arrive in Tokyo, the adjustment will be really small. He'll have to do the final two hours, but two hours over five days will be no problem. So if he's a little bit tired here for a few days, we can live with that. But by the time we arrive in Tokyo, his body will be well on its way to to be in on Japan time. I think it is difficult, but in the end of the day, there will be challenges, but it's all about discipline. Um, just getting to bed every day one hour earlier, what is definitely hard to do, but when you know the Olympics are coming up, it's definitely not that bad.